is a difference out there. Yeah, I think you know, I, I was always always heard from Bill Walsh. I read it in his book. Trust your eyes. So you're right. We look down the field today, and as this thing goes along, you can tell we have two stars of running back, and man, just give them a little bit of hope, and they can make it happen. First down at the 20. And it's knocked down. Here's a look at the Ravens offense. This is an efficient group. Last week turning the football over just once. The Ravens decked out in a lot of pink. And we see pink throughout the building. It's Breast Cancer Awareness Month in the NFL. Handoff by Flacco. He's going to be tackled right around the 21-yard line. Let's talk about the defense. A former first-rounder out of Florida State linebacker, Lawrence Timmons. Yeah, he's a linebacker. That's what it says. But what you really need him for is to get to the quarterback from the inside or the outside. Timmons has that kind of talent. The Steelers lined up in the nickel. Third and nine. Ross has got it. Let's see how they back up the big play here. They'll run it here. Shrugs off the first hit on his way. Shazier's there to make the tackle. The defense cannot give up these long runs. You have to hustle to the ball, get a lot of people around the ball carriers to make sure they don't take short gains and turn them into long ones. Ravens snap it up at the 26. Searching for space to the right. Allen's tackled right at the 20. That's a nice, powerful statement as they establish the run at the beginning of this game. Uh, Jim, I, you're, you're right. I'm going to give the offense a little credit here, but, you know, somewhere, I don't know, maybe the defense going to have to put some weights in their pockets. you got to hang in there and make the tackle. Second down and four. Down. He's in for the touchdown, but hold on a minute. There's a flag down. There's a flag away from the football. I give all the credit to the wide receiver here. What a route. Fooled the defender. He is wide open. Nice throw by the quarterback for the touchdown. After that penalty, it's now second and 14. Lorenzo Taliaferro has the grab. Give that tackle to Lawrence Timmons. Now if you want to keep your place on the offense, then catch the pass and break a tackle and get some extra yards. That's what the guy did on that play. Nice job by him. First down following the long play. Look out here. They're going to blitz. They're all packing the line of scrimmage. Looks like they're in press coverage here. Slashing to the right side. That's a gain of six. Well, that last play almost got them in here. And when you look at this, what do they do? Well, you just want to punch it in. There's a lot of, a lot of different scenarios. You could do a play-action fake, probably get somebody wide open, or have a running back just jump over the top for the touchdown. Second and goal from the two. Allen is going to take the handoff now. Jim, I just want to say this to the quarterback. It's third and goal. If the play's not there, throw it away. Do not force the action. The Ravens with a third down play coming up and hoping to improve in this category versus a week ago. The Ravens with a little uncertainty, so they take a timeout here before third down. 
football sits at the two. Third and goal to go from the two. Power surge for six. Touchdown. The lead is theirs now after that trip to the end zone. That gives them some momentum here at the start, Phil. Yeah, and listen, halfway through the first quarter, you score that touchdown. Now you're leading in the game. Boy, that's a great place to be. And also, I know it's early, but you it puts the pressure on the opposition right away. Picks up the football at the six. Breaks at the tackle. And the tackle's made right around the 26-yard line. First down at the 26. Wheaton has hold of it. Games 19. You got to be agile when you make these kind of catches. One of these short drag routes across the field. That time we saw the agility of the receiver. Nice catch. First down here after the completion. Bell's got it on the handle. Bell is trying to be patient, but there is nowhere to run that time, and he only gets a short game. will be second down and six after the running play on first down. The Ravens defense brings in an extra member of the secondary. They'll go nickel. Look out. They're changing the play to take advantage of something they see on the defensive side. Intercepted. He's brought to a halt. A great play by the defense, and now an opportunity to make that lead a little more comfortable before heading to the second quarter, Phil. Yeah, you know what they're doing, Jim? They're giving the team confidence, and when you get confident on the football field, you play fast and loose, and that's when you're at your best. In plus territory at the 49. First down at the 49. Now makes the move to the right. Good for only a yard. Good coaching on the defensive side. Everybody stays at home. They stay in their gap, and they hold that run to a short game. Coming to the line at the 48. Second and nine. Gets the handle here. Shazier's all over the ball carrier. It's way too early in a game like this, in this situation, to take a chance. You want to draw for a screen, maybe just a straight-ahead run, but don't turn over the football. The Steelers' defense now loading up, expecting pass with a dime defense. Third and a long way to go. All is out. Recovery by the offense. Well, you just get tired of sending four, three, or four players at the quarterback in passing situations. So this time, the defensive coordinator sends the blitz, and they are up for it. They get to the QB and get a sack. Jackson, the one who brings them to the ground. That time, he only gets a couple yards. And if I'd have been the punt returner that time, I would have called for a fair catch. Defense was close. All around you, there was nowhere to go.
Bell takes his spot in the backfield. First down at the 20. Here's the handoff and no run. Brought down by Mosley. Bell's a dangerous runner when you give him room to run, but there is no room this time. What a job by the defense. They bottle him up for a short game. This will be second down. Defense calls a timeout. The Steelers at the line of scrimmage. Split backfield. the second quarter is underway with this snap two hands on the football and has the catch well the quarterback showed off his arm straight that time didn't he he put the football right on the money on a line right into the receiver's hands They're back at the line after that catch for a first down. They're changing things here. The quarterback changing. He's, he's giving the receiver some new instructions. He's hit as he throws it. The Steelers are trailing right now, so you know they're going to have to rely on the passing game the rest of the way. Roethlisberger is such a crucial part of this offense, and he's so competitive. What are you looking for the rest of the way here, Phil? I tell you what I think, Jim. You know, I think he needs a little more protection. Give him some more time so he can find those guys and get the rhythm of passing the football down the field back. So if the offensive line picks up what they're doing, that is really going to improve the play of the quarterback. Roethlisberger from the gun. A nice grab. No doubt he was going to hold on to that one. First down, offense ready for the snap. After the long game, let's see what they do here. Trying to beat the play clock. Bell's handed the football. Jernigan's there to make the stop. When you run the football like this and you show toughness, there is no doubt when you fake it and try to throw the football down the field, the quarterback's going to have all day to get it done. The Steelers from the 27. And that's a gain of 10. What a good job by the running back that time. He reads the box very well and he picks his way through there and picks up the first down. That's, that's nice. First down coming up. Williams is taking the handoff. Good yardage picked up on that ball. Good job by the offense getting the first down in the red zone. Now it becomes tricky. Can you deceive the defense where you get a chance to get a score? Coming up to the line at the two. Goal line defense on the field. So first and goal to go. Bell's going to sit and he's in for the touchdown. Midway through the second quarter and they've managed to tie this game. Yeah, you know what happens when you tie a game up in a situation like this midway in the second quarter just gives you confidence in everything that you prepared to do during the week of practice. So uh, both teams got to be feeling good. This should be fun to watch. Jackson's got a chance for a return. 
Gets out past the 20 and brought down at the 24. The Ravens offense failed to muster a single first down the last time they had it. Let's see if their offense this time can create a few sparks. Well, you know the coaches were upset at them uh, when they went to the sidelines, so the sense of urgency is there. You should be fired up, and I expect a better drive this time. Looking to go down the field here. He rips it right out of the wide receiver's hands. So many times when you drop a football in the NFL, a pass like that, it's because of lack of concentration. You're just not serious about what you're doing. leads us to second down. The give. Now cutting to the right side, looking for some open space. Following the run, it's now third and seven. The quarterback's picked up on something. He's changing the play here. Smith's going to pull in the bullet pass. Mitchell's there that time for the tackle. How about the way he always locks in and concentrates on the catch? Man, he's got hands like glue. When you shake his hand, he can break yours because that's how strong they are. So not surprised to see him just reach out and just snatch the football out of the air. Let's see what they do on first down following that huge play. Takes the hit, throws. After the incomplete pass, it brings up second down. The Steelers with a nickel look here on defense. Flacco will take it from the gun. Talia Farrell with the reception. That's a gain of 10. Well, it's a great feeling, isn't it, for an offense to throw a short pass to the running back and get a long game. This guy is in there because he can run it he can catch it, and he can make things happen. In the red zone. First down and 10. Touchdown, Baltimore! That's his first touchdown catch of the season. What a throw by the quarterback for a touchdown. It was just really nice. He threw it beautifully, right on target. Touchdown. The Ravens getting ready to kick it away. That's a touchback, and the ball will be spotted at the 20. The Steelers come to the line in a tight game here in the second quarter. The score's 14 to 7. First down at the 20. Bell's going to take the handoff now. To running it it's second down Ben Roethlisberger takes a look now from under center Bell's got it on the handoff the tackle's made and the first down is picked up doesn't like what he sees on the defensive side so he is changing the play to the receivers by giving him hand signals two minute warning here's 
the football marked at the 47. That long gain sets them up here on this play. Bell's handed the football and gains about one. He's averaging about four yards a carry. That last running play was good for only a yard, so it's second down and nine. The Ravens set at the line. Dime package. Ben Roethlisberger dropping back in shotgun formation. Catch made along the sideline. Well, I guess the only good thing you can say about that play, the quarterback's happy. He gets a completion, but it only goes for a couple yards. On the way, third down. Roethlisberger's got it in the gun. Looking across the middle. He's tackled beyond the markers. It's a first down. That's his first reception today. Danielle's got an injury update for us. Let's go to her now. Guys, I had a chance to speak with a Steelers team official. He was unable to confirm exactly what the injury was, but he did tell me that it is related to the upper body. Here's the long throw by Roth. Intercepted. Tackles made. The Steelers go with the dime formation here on defense. Flacco's going to take the snap from the shotgun. Look at that concentration as he makes the grab. I like this decision by the coach to go with the hurry-up offense here late in the first half. You can't be worried about making mistakes. Sometimes you got to be aggressive. Lots of ways to attack cover two. There's no doubt about it. You can throw it underneath. You can pump fake the safeties, make one of them move, and still throw it deep down the field. Second and ten. Surveys. Black goes down. The ball is fumbled. The defense has the football. Thomas is there to make the tackle. That's a good learning experience right there. You fumble the football. You learn from it. You know why you fumbled it. Next time, correct it so you don't do it again. The Steelers with the ball back now, benefiting from the turnover after giving the ball up themselves just a few minutes earlier. We're seeing mistakes start to accumulate here, Phil, for both teams. Yeah, I think, Jim, that's what you call them. You call them mistakes. They are turnovers. They're just giving the football away. There's no excuse for that. And they got to tighten things up here in this game. But they can't connect got to give the secondary credit in this passing league now it's hard to make plays but a good play there and another incomplete pass defense respecting the deep ball playing way off the receivers Darius Hayward Bay with the catch Hayward Bay's met after a gain of three when you run that drag route across the field it is not as easy as it looks you're running fast. You have to catch the football right in stride, and you cannot see what's in front of you. Third and six. And it's batted down. That was a good call by the defensive coordinator. He called the right defensive play. The defender's in position and knocks down that third down throw. Ross has got it now. Take it down at the 27. And a run back of about four. The Ravens have now for this next drive. And, of course, we met with the coaching staff this week. And the one thing they emphasized, we cannot fumble the football. But that's just what they did the last time they were out here. Well, don't we see that when we go to their practices? We see all the drills, the receivers, the runners, the quarterbacks moving through things. People trying to take the football away because... You've got to be ready for those hard hits and know the defenders are always reaching to take the football away from you. How many drills did we watch this week when we attended practice where it was all about ball security? We saw a lot. I guarantee they're going to do more of them this week. 
the teams head to the locker room and we'll be heading to the studio to our pal Larry Ridley as you watch the NFL on EA Sports. He'll have a chance to take off. And the tackle's made right around the 26-yard line. The Steelers got absolutely nothing out of their previous possession. And here they are back on the field. Another three and out, I would have to think, would be very demoralizing to this team right now, Phil. Yeah, it's going to be demoralizing to the offense, but I'll tell you who's going to be more demoralized is the defense because they need to sit on the sidelines and get a little rest. So I know there's a lot of pressure on this offense right now. The Steelers snap it at the 26. Miller's got the catch and the first. First down at the 39. Bell takes it out of the eye. Nice run that time. When you run the football like this, over a period of time, it's going to wear that defense out. There's no doubt about it. Nice job by the offensive line. That's second down coming up. taking the handoff he is brought down at the 49 yard line Bell's never able to build up that power that he has as a running back when there's nowhere to go hey there's nowhere to go that's a short game it's third down coming up Johnson's going to secure the handoff. And that means one. The Steelers did a good job that time picking up the first down. Let's look at the situation. You're behind in the second half. You keep looking to pick up those first downs, and you know you get enough of them. What does it do? Pretty simple. It leads to a score. Now, first and ten. Takes it again. Marked down after a gain of four. He's averaging about four yards a carry. Coming to the line at the 46. Roethlisberger standing back in the shotgun ready for the snap. And the tackle is made right around the 39-yard line. Well, you play this cover, cover four. In other words, you've got four defenders playing deep, equally spread across the field. Well, who's going to cover the end cuts and underneath? Nobody. That's why the quarterback got an easy completion that time on the end route. They motion the receiver around to the other side. They better hurry to get the snap. Takes it on the counter. Picks up eight here. Running backs, they love counter runs. They know what a defense has been over pursuing, so they make that fake one way, and when they cut it back, there's usually a great running lane there. The Steelers snap it at the 31. Williams up the middle. And picks up about three. The Steelers look pretty confident out there on the field, don't they? And they're, they're very calm, and they should be. That first down, they're right in this game. Don't look down the field for that big play. Just keep marching. This will be the eighth play of this drive. <laughs> Quarterback sees something in his defense he wants to take advantage of. Roethlisberger's back in shotgun formation. And it's away well you want to put all the pressure on the quarterback to make really good throws down the field play tight man-to-man -man coverage it takes perfect throws to get completions not there that time second down and ten and straight ahead Bell gains five 
He's now over 60 yards rushing on the ground. Always good to have these types of runs. Yeah, it's not a first down, but it sends a message. It shows everybody that you can run it when you want to. And also, it opens up so many other things for your offense. Playing press coverage to the outside. The Steelers take it from the 23. Here's Miller. And he's going to be tackled. And that's going to bring us to fourth down. This will be a field goal drive for Sweezum. And converts on the three. They had to get back within range before this game got much later. And they have done just that with this field goal midway through the third quarter. Yeah, that's the positive. That they got back in the game. It's close. Everything here in the third quarter. But you know what? you got to worry about it. You think, hey, we had an opportunity. Did we squander seven points right there? Will that cost us a game? Well, we're going to find out. The Ravens offense takes the field. Let's see if this momentum can carry over from the first half because they have been brilliant to this point, partner. Yeah, a lot of things change in that locker room at halftime. You know, you, you might feel good about what you've done. Of course, you've got to realize the defense might be upset and is willing to come out here and take more chances in the second half. Let's get the injury report from Danielle Bellini. Guys, I had a chance to speak with a Steelers team official. The team is officially rolling him out for today's game with an upper body injury. Back to you. Second down. The Steelers' defense now is going to go nickel. And intercepted! Phil, this defense has been making plays all season long, and today they do it at the right time. Late third quarter in a close game with the interception. Well, once again, they have set up the offense, and let's see if the offense can finally come through and take advantage of that turnover or that tremendous interception by the defensive player. Bell takes his spot in the backfield. The Steelers from the 32. Bryant's got it. First down. Bites off the hit. Touchdown, Pittsburgh Steelers. Roethlisberger's now got five touchdown passes on the season. Makes the PAT. Sean Sweezum readying his team for the kickoff. That'll be a touchback, and the ball will be placed at the 20. The Ravens offense back on the field trying to make up for that costly mistake. The last time they had the ball, the turnover they committed immediately turned into points against them. Yeah, it did, Jim, but you know what? It's not a perfect game. you got to deal with adversity when you're talking about football. So you made that mistake. Let it go and go out there, be aggressive, and see if you can score some points. First down at the 20. Good coverage by Gay that time as the pass goes incomplete. Well, but there's man-to-man -man coverage on the defensive side. And the defense does a job like this where they are covering those receivers. There is nothing a quarterback can do except that throw another incomplete pass. From the gun, Flacco. And it's knocked down. Well, when you get in a situation like this, Jim, and you get third long, I'll tell you what catches a defense by surprise. Run a double move on the outside against the defensive back because everybody in the stands and the defensive players all think they're going to throw it short. The Ravens get set at the line, needing to get to the 30 for a first. Third and 10. Flacco to his tight end, Pitta. And they'll call on Cook for the punt. He's going to challenge the punt coverage. Arrington's going to make the tackle. 
And a run back of about four. The Steelers really have this offense cranking, Phil. They've scored on their last two series. You know, what we see now in the NFL, so many different ways to move an offense, screens, run plays, power plays, trick plays. Right now, everything working on the offensive side. The Steelers snap it at the 41. It's wide open. That's a pickup of 14. That's a nice play at that time by the offense, getting the first down. They're up here in the second half, and they're moving the football. That is a great feeling. First and ten. Bell's going to take the handoff now. Setting up now at the 45. Roethlisberger comes out in the pistol. Second and 10. Matt Spate has the reception. Flag. Grabbing the face mask. We see it almost once a week, and here it happens again. Well, a lot of times these defenders, I'll give them a, you know, a little slack because they're Running so fast, they're trying to tackle some tremendous athletes in open space, and sometimes, accidentally, you're going to grab the face mask. Jim, the offensive coordinator, has done a terrific job so far here today. He's got his team winning. They're in the red zone. Let's see how clever he's going to be on this call. First down at the 16. Bell, right side. And that's a gain of maybe five. That'll be second and four after the running play. It's Williams in the backfield. Here's the handoff. And Suggs there to meet him. Terrell Suggs, they call him T-Sizzle. There's a reason they call him T-Sizzle, because he can make plays. We always know he can rush the quarterback, but he is one big outside linebacker, hard to move. When you run outside like this play, no chance he's there to make the tackle. Third down on the way. Right back to him. A game breaker. Touchdown. That touchdown may have given them all the points they need to put this game away, partner. Well, they've controlled it almost from start to finish, Jim, so that drive was impressive. Now let's see if their defense can just finish it off. If I had to guess, I like their chances. The Ravens' return team is ready. Ross has got a chance to return this one. Gets out past the 20 and brought down at the 24. The Ravens offense coming back onto the field here. Desperately trying to avoid a repeat of their last drive when they had the quick three and out. I'll tell you what, if they go three and out again, you know what's going to happen? Those defensive players are going to be looking at them as they come off the field. You put this back out there already, so it's important to get a drive, give your defense a little rest. First down at the 24. Going to be a penalty here. Allen's there to take him down. 
That out route that time was run to perfection by the receiver. He made such a sharp cut. He gets gives himself some space from the defender, and the quarterback puts the football right on target, just short of that first down mark. Very nearly intercepted. That time, the man-to-man -man coverage won. The quarterback had to make a perfect throw. He didn't. Incomplete pass. Second and ten coming up. Flacco's lined up. Two tight ends set. The Ravens have it at the 29. He'll throw it over the middle. Gilmore's tackled down at the 45. When you're behind in a football game, all you can do on the offensive side is just go out there and thinking about making plays and picking up first downs, good job by the offense. Flacco's completion percentage, 50% on the day. Back to the air here on first down. Can't hold on here as this falls incomplete. Good job that time by the secondary. They're in good position. They make the play, and it's an incomplete pass by the quarterback. And here we have second down. The Ravens lined up. Bunch formation. Flacco from the shotgun. The Ravens get a first down. That's another reception, giving him two. There has been good pass protection for the quarterback all day long. He has not been sacked much, and he throws it there and gets another completion. It's first down as they head to the line. The offense is set at the line for the first down after that completion. Flacco will take it from the gun. Smith's got it on a pass, had some heat on it. Jim, when you get inside the other team's red zone, inside the 20-yard line, and you're down some points, you're thinking touchdown in these situations. First and 10. They're setting up screen. They tackle him for a loss. Quarterback should have never thrown at that time. Even though he completes the pass, he should have seen the defense was right there. A loss of a couple yards. An extra tight end on the field for this one. Second and long. Hit us. That touchdown. This game is tight. That touchdown tightens things up quite a bit. They may not have all the time in the world to work with, but they've got enough that there is still a distinct possibility they can make a run at the lead. You said the right word. It is tighten things up here in this football game, and can the defensive coordinator, can he not tighten up, go out there, be fast and lose, call some plays to help those defensive players out? And a touchback here. We'll bring the ball out to the 20. The Steelers ready to go on the march again, and that's exactly what they've been doing here lately. They've taken it all the way down the field on the last two possessions for touchdowns. Phil, can they make it three straight? Let me say this to you, Jim. It's just not that easy. As we're watching this game and how they're playing on the offensive side, they make it look easy, but trust me, I was down there one time. It's, it's, it's a hard job. The Steelers now march to the line. Tightly contested game here in the fourth. The score's 24 to 21. The Ravens will come out in the dime. Tight end in motion. The D line saw something on the offense. Everybody shifting to their left. Bell will get it on the toss. Got a big lane. He's now averaging six yards a carry on the day. Well, here we are in the second half of a tight game, and you you always hear this control the tempo of the game, just move the chains, and that's what the offense did that time. Picked up the first down and just keep marching from here. Williams is in the backfield. The Steelers take it from the 33. Williams tackled right at the 35. The game is close. It's in the fourth quarter. You're winning. You're on the offensive side. You find out if you can really run the football in these situations. That time, short gain on the run. 
It's now second down. Ben Roethlisberger takes a look now from under center. The Ravens lined up in the nickel. Dropping back three. Probably should have had that one, but it goes incomplete. When you see a receiver drop a pass, it does go through the quarterback's mind. Well, he's a good player, and I want to keep his confidence level up, and I want to keep him into the game. So when you get a chance, you throw him another football so he can make that catch and get right back in rhythm. Third down now. The Steelers need to get to the 43 to pick up a first. Two, two. Quarterback likes what he sees out there outside. He's changing the play with the wide receiver. Third and eight. Bryant's got the catch and the first. I know it looks easy, but it's not. But a nice throw on the slant route. The slant route means you're slanting towards the inside. Good throw and catch. First down here. First down here after the completion. Play clock's running down. Bell's got it on the handoff. Now they take the football onto the opponent's side of the field. He's got over 110 yards rushing on the day. Inside the 50. Leading and with possession of the football, a good place to be at this point in the game. The clocks really become a factor here, and the defense knows it has to get off the field as soon as possible to give the team a chance. Two minutes remaining in the game. Play number six coming up on this drive. Third down and eight. And it's batted down. Not a good play call. You got a small lead here late in the game, and you call that play. The defense stops it. Now it's up to your defense to hold on and win the game. Ross has got it at the 25. That returns good for about seven. So the offense gets the football back here in the last two minutes off of the punt. And everything looks like it's coming down to this drive. Yeah, it does. And you know, when you're in a situation like this on the offensive side, you can be conservative. Why? You have four downs. Makes it really tough for the defense to try to stop all four of those downs. First down at the 31. Set up screen. That's a gain of eight. The Ravens still trail, but as we look at the passing numbers, it's hard to find much fault with them. Blacko's numbers, though, speak to a team that could be winning if other things, like their defense, were doing their part here, partner. Well, yeah, that's right. The defense has got to hold their end up, but the offense, they've been very, very good. The quarterback has been accurate. He has been smart, and that always gives you a chance when your quarterback is playing that well. A huge third down play on the way. Good job by the offense going to hurry up offense. You do this to get the plays in, but also you want to conserve the timeouts. They take the football onto the opponent's side of the field. 
that is how you draw it up, isn't it, Phil? Oh, man, a quarterback loves guys that can make catches like this, and they're just so strong. They know how to zero in. They never lose concentration, and you never see him drop a pass. Flacco's completed his last six passes. The Ravens have saved all three of their timeouts for here in the fourth quarter. First down, pressure on every snap now. Pinna's got it on a pass that had some heat. There are so many players down the NFL that are good. How about this tight end? He has got so much talent. That time he hauls in the pass and just makes it look so easy. Flacco's completion percentage, 60% on the day. First down at the 18. Got drilled as he throws it. Second down, late in the fourth quarter. Let's go. Second down and 10. And it's swatted away. This is an almost must convert scenario. Third down coming up here in the late stages. Yes, that's four down territory, but you don't want to face make or break at this point. Yeah, on the defensive side, now it's time for the coach to do his job. Be aggressive. Call a defense that the offense has not seen so far today. If you do that, I think you'll catch them by surprise. On third and long, they'll be in four down territory here. The quarterback, he's changing the play with the wide receiver with those hand signals. All the way home just in time, a late touchdown. Well, how about that drive by the offense? My gosh, you're behind. It's late in the game, and they methodically just march it down there and get the touchdown and take the lead. He made it. The Steelers set to return the kick. No return. The ball's coming out to the 20. The Steelers' offense comes out here, Phil, desperately looking to put a drive together that can give them a chance here late to win this game. Always the tough thing to do in a situation like this for the offense is don't try to make the big play. Let it happen. Take a short gain if that's what the defense is giving you, especially on first down. Get this drive started by doing the right thing. First down at the 20. Roethlisberger going down the field. The Steelers call a timeout. They're first. Now on first down, every snap crucial the rest of the way. Plenty of defensive backs out on the field for this one. Roethlisberger takes the snap from the gun. Launching it deep. In his hands, complete. Touchdown. That's a wonderful catch by the receiver. Getting his first touchdown of his rookie year. And, and making that catch, that is the first of many to come for him. An extra point is good. Sean Sweezum readying his team for the kickoff. Jackson's got it. Able to move past the 20 and brought down at the 23. The Ravens will try to keep this frenetic fourth quarter pace going as it's now their turn on offense. Jim, the defenses have no chance in this situation. The offenses have been so dynamic and so diverse in their play calls, the defense has no idea what's coming. Scans the field. Schaub's pass will go for an incompletion. I think this is one of the easier throws in the NFL. Don't make the mistake throwing it up the field. Throw it across the field so the receiver can run to it. That time, the quarterback leads the receiver way too far on the post run. Steve McClendon takes 
takes him to the ground. The Ravens use the timeout. They'll talk over things before calling what should be the final play. The Ravens have to get to the 33 for a first. Wants to go deep. And it's going to fall incomplete. Their comeback effort comes up short. Well, it's a big performance in front of a primetime audience and a sweet victory in the end. Of course, the players are not thinking about the fact that, hey, a lot of people are watching us here today in this game. But when you win and then you sit back and think everybody was watching us and you played well, boy, that is some great experience. For Phil Sims and all the crew at EA Sports, Jim Nance saying so long for now.